Hello, crafty friends. Sparkle here. So today we are going to have a play with some tags. My inspiration came from Graphics Fairy, where they show us, um, they give you some freebies, and they show you how to make these um, little um, tags that can go um, over your pages. Okay, and these are about uh, two and five eighths inches long. And they do give you, um, they give you this freebie here, and there's 30 uh, tabs. And um, they give you these. And then this is another one of their product. And I just used a butterfly on the front and just a flower on the back. But what I did was um, I put these uh, five by seven, so I shrunk these a little bit. But anyway, that was the inspiration. And what you do is you um, take two tags. You print them on cardstock. So I, I already cut two. And um, I know they're not cut real even, but that's okay. Because what I like to do is you're just going to glue. Uh, this one isn't on a card. Oh, it is cardstock. Okay. You're just going to put glue on the tops. Because you want to be able to slip this piece over your page. So I put them on. I get them even. And then I um, just do some trimming. So I'll take off any white. And I'm using my um, little scissors here, my fine scissors. You can't use your corner punch, which I wanted to use because it doesn't go in here. For whatever reason okay so um you know clean them up as best you can we're going to ink them so that's not going to show real much and um these are really cute so thank you for graphics fairy for being so generous to us so then i just take um you know, your ink, so you get rid of the white, okay? And you could choose to decorate both sides or um, just the front. On this one, I did do both sides just for the sake of it. Um, they use cheesecloth. Um, you don't have to. You could use, if you have some other... Um, other stash I'm gonna have to pull some things out but like if you have some of this um, tooling you could use that <clears throat> and you could just put it on here and then put whatever you're going to put on top I was going to use some of these um, little flowers and stuff that I have already cut out You know, you can just decorate it with something like that. And then because this is open, it will slide on your page of your journal. Okay. So, yeah, you could decorate as you see, as you wish. Um, you could put a tag or whatever. You could put a dangle on it. Uh, and then you could put it on your page and then glue it down. So then I thought, well, what if I don't want to use this design? I wonder if I can use my tab punch. But alas, they're so small. These are like one inch and this is only three quarters of an inch. And this is two and five eighths and this is only about an inch, two and a quarter inches or not even. So they're too small. Nonetheless, you can you can still use them to decorate. You could um, decorate it, add something to it, and um, paper clip it or gl glue it on the base here on the bottom and put a paper clip or something on it. Uh, you could do both sides. Um, or you could... Um, Fold it in half like this, 
and that could go over your page similar to that glue it on here decorate and and to get it to go like that uh, I just took a piece of paper and I folded it um, in half. This is just a scrap paper folded in half. It is cardstock. Um, okay, you want your pattern facing you. Okay, so this is going the right way. This is upside down. So you want this facing you. And when you put your uh, punch in, you want to leave a space up here. Just a little space so you're not, if you don't leave a space, if you don't leave that space and you cut up on the seam like you normally would, you're going to just get two tabs. Okay. But if you leave this, if you punch it at the seam, then you get a fold over. Okay, so, you know, you can use these. I have a bunch of tabs now. Uh, this one, I just put a dangle on it. And just a little, um, I put some cheesecloth inside before I glued it and put one of my little flowers. But then it's two-sided. So that's kind of cute. So these will all be single ones because I already cut them out. You can decorate them. You could ink the back or you could um, just take one and, and glue glue one on the back. Like you did with this big one so that's um another version okay so we have that we have that now back to my my predicament so i have get this out of here i need some room so i have um all these and that's great and you could make like 15 sets because you need two per set and i have a couple sheets here and i will cut them up and use them okay but another thought was, um, let's make these in a page of a design that you like. So let's move this out of the way. Keep this here for our sample. So I just picked some um, music paper or dictionary paper. And this also was, uh, I believe, from Graphics Fairy. And I already cut some out, but I'll show you how I did it. So I took a strip that was one one inches, okay, and um, make sure the top is going the right way. You could take one of these that you've already cut out. Um, where's one? Okay. You could take one. This is not. This is one that I designed. So I just took this and I measured and it was two and five eighths. So I need my ruler. So I'm just measuring um, two and four eighths, two and five eighths. Okay, so. Um, We'll use those. Let's cut this. Hopefully it's straight. I do it on the wrong side. Okay, you're going to need two. So let's do two right away. Okay. Then all I did was I went in on a, qu a quarter of an inch on each side. And I went down a half an inch because this is an inch. So I just went down a half an inch and then you're going to cut this piece out. Flip it over, quarter inch, half inch. That is going to give you this shape. 
okay? So uh, I'm going to do two together, and I'm going to make sure my patterns go in the right way. That's up, and that's up. Uh, then they'll match, okay? So I don't worry about square uh, rounding my corners. Or you could. You could round the... No, let's just cut them square. Let's cut them square. There's one cut there. And one cut there. One cut there. And one cut there. Okay? So when you reverse and you put them together... They should match pretty much. I should have um, reversed the paper on the other one. So we'll, we'll redo this in a minute. So we're just going to even these out a little bit. So we're going to round the corner here. And we're going to round the corner here. And let's just trim this here because round the corner here around the corner here so there when we glue this except I would use two different patterns because I don't want the same pattern on here you know I'll, I made some of these earlier so like this is here and that's different. So I would make two. But look, they look just like these. Okay? So, um, here's one of the ones from there. Pretty darn close. So, you know, I like to do two, two different um, patterns. So anyway, you would you would have this glued together. Which one did I just glue together? And it would go on your page. That doesn't look right on there, so we need something bigger. And then you can decorate it. So if you don't like, um, these are very beautiful, but if you were doing a design and you wanted things to match, you can make your own, and it would be just as lovely. And by the time you, th you throw some bling on it or um, flowers or lace or whatever, uh, a word you have a beautiful tag so thank you for Gra graphics fairy for that inspiration and then I thought well sparkle doesn't have a whale punch because whale tail punch because about three years ago I thought I was done with this little hobby and so I very graciously gifted some friends of mine some lovely equipment from my room here and now I have no whale tail punch and I can't find who I gave it to so I could borrow it to cut some whale tails but have no fear Sparkle likes to look at things and see what she can do the other day when I was doing my farmhouse journal these were in um, Robin's kit from Daisy Journal Company and they remind me of whale, a whale tail. And I did use these in my journal. Um, in this journal, I use them in my little um, tab binding. And I thought they were quite cute. And they're just the way they were in Robin's kits. I just cut them out, put them on, glued them on. And I thought, well, those are cute. I want to use them in um, make some. Well, I didn't want to cut this out and trace it because I thought, well, you know, I'll never cut them out the same. So let's just be a little eclectic and do it your own way. So I made these. Now, um, 
this one is one inch, uh, about one and a quarter inch, and this one was a little bit bigger. So I like the smaller one. So that's what we'll make now. So I just have some um, paper that I printed. Um, let's use this one. So I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going. I have this uh, circle punch, but you could use a quarter. You could use um, the bottom of a jar tape um, just to get the the width you want. And this is um, one and a quarter. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I simply drew a circle. Uh, I don't know, went down a little bit and I intersected with another circle. Then I um, cut this out. Again, I'm using cardstock for this. Okay, so then when I cut it out, um, doesn't matter because this is the inside. I just cut the circles out and not the intersection, okay? Now you can measure and get them exactly perfect, but you know Sparkle never measures much or much cares if it's a little off kilter because that makes it uniquely me. So then you have your um, little divot here. And it's starting to look like this. It's starting to look like that, in my opinion, okay? Then I just fold it in in half um, with the right side on top. And um, because I have it, I use this. But you could just eyeball it. Um, I used my little um, half-inch hole punch. And here's the fold. I just put this in here towards the fold up there and took a bite out of it. Flipped it over. I wonder if you could use a corner punch. You probably could. Um, found the top up here. Okay. Now, they might not be perfectly symmetrical there, but when you go and put it on your page, it works. Okay, so you would just glue, you would glue this these pieces here, put them on here, decorate them. So that is my um, fake whale tail uh, tutorial. So I think, um, thank you, Robin, for the inspiration on these. You know, it's a little smaller. You can make it bigger. Um, you know, you could measure everything out but like I said that's not my style uh, these are perfectly wonderful to me I'm going to make a bunch uh, when I have a project in mind I'll be able to um, match them to what I'm working on I can decorate them at at whim when I put them in my journals so we have our whale tail look alike we have our single tab, double fold tab, it's a double, that's a double, that's a single, yeah, these are all single. And then we have our wannabe ones that I copied from um, Graphics Fairy. So I have to find the mates because I just messed them up. I had them all even, Steven. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to glue them, um, at least glue them, and then they're ready to decorate when I'm ready to um, do a journal or something. So I have them. And then we have the original product from Graphics Fairy. So I hope you were inspired by um, my share today and can't wait to see you all make some tabs.
So it was a tabby day. I'll see you again real soon. Bye now.